Welcome to the Sigma Magic software series. In this module, we will be covering control charts. Let's say we want to determine if the current method for processing forms is in control. We have collected the data for the year 2010 and the type of the data is defective data. So the data is shown in this worksheet. So we have the data for 12 months. So there are two columns. The first column is the number of uh, forms that we have inspected, its sample size. And the second column here is the number of defectives that we have found in each month. We want to determine if this process is in control. In order to analyze this, we are going to use Sigma Magic. The control charts template can be found under the stats menu. So clicking on the control charts button is going to open a new worksheet for us. There are five inputs that needs to be specified for this analysis. The first one is the data type. In our case, the data type is discrete defectives since we're working with defective data. Control chart, we can specify the type of chart that we want to analyze for this data or we can let the software pick this for us. So we're going to select this as auto and let the software pick the appropriate chart for us. Test for special causes, we're going to ask Sigma Magic to perform all possible tests and subgroup size is not a constant, it is varying so we will ask Sigma Magic to get this input uh, from the spreadsheet and calculate the control limits we're going to ask you to calculate it from the data that we enter once we have these uh, defined we can click on OK and this is going to format the worksheet for us the next step is to update the worksheet data so I'm going to copy this 12 rows of data into our worksheet so copy this and we're going to paste it in uh, our control chart worksheet so now we have the data entered so uh, the next step is to click on compute outputs so clicking on compute outputs is going to perform the analysis for us and uh, the analysis indicates that this particular data is not in control. So let's look at a summary of our inputs. So we have specified that the data is discrete, defectives. We have asked Sigma Magic to perform all tests and the subgroup and the control charts are being calculated from the spreadsheet data. The software has selected the p-chart for analysis and there are 12 subgroups that it found in our input uh, columns and it is listing the lower and upper control limits and it is performing some assumption checks and it is warning us that there are less than 25 subgroups it is found so we need to use the results with some caution and the results of the analysis indicate that the data is not in control because point number six lies outside the control limits scrolling all the way to the right we can see a graph for uh, from the analysis so it is showing us a p-chart with the red lines indicate the lower and upper control limits and the blue dots indicate the data that we have entered and we can see from this chart that point number six lies outside the control limits and hence this process is not stable so this is pretty much all there is to analyze the stability of a process using sigma magic thank you